Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Ah, uh, I don't know if I've, I haven't been this busy all summer. Yep, that's right, we are uh, cranking. Um, today is Monday, and uh, we got clients coming in Wednesday. First hunt is Thursday, so a lot of scouting going on, a lot of decoy work, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, Y'all seen a little bit of the decoy work the other day, but whew, you should see it now. Really quickly before we get going though, I wanna tell you all we are doing a site-wide sale over at duckswaterfowl.com and if you use the code DUCKS30, this code right here, at checkout between November 3rd and the 6th, you will receive 30% off your entire order. Yes, it's an amazing sale. One of the biggest sales we've ever done on the entire site. So, Ducks 30, use it at checkout. Uh, no, again, November 3rd through the 6th only. Put it on your calendars. It's a chance, it, basically it's a chance for you to save a bunch of money. Everything, the hats, the calls, seasonings, dog vests, everything. Ducks Waterfowl is always linked down below in the description. Near the top, it'll actually be at the top of this video for surely. <sighs> the old trailer, yeah, guys haven't seen that in a while. She's just been sitting. We'll get we'll, we'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> Check it out though. Uh, been working, been working. This is all Gerald's stuff, man. This is all of his brand new decoys. We got a pile of boxes. And we got seed sacks full of brand new SX full body snow goose decoys. Uh huh. Look, even got some juvies. Check them bad boys out. Doesn't that look good? They all come with uh, the tail loop on them, so a lot easier for handling them. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five seed sacks ready to go. Um, and then back here. Oh, and today, yeah, I know. Y'all have been asking about the tattoo. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm very proud of it. I've waited to show you guys until it was all healed and looking good. And uh, it's a very special thing to me. I've waited my whole life to do something like this, getting a whole sleeve, uh, because I never knew what I wanted. And, and what we did was pretty amazing. And you guys really wanna see it, so I'm gonna show you that. But these are all rig and right lay down blinds that still need built. These here, uh, this is, I'm pretty sure 3,000, yes, 3,000 snow goose sock decoys. Yeah, these are all Gerald's. He is running conservation hunts uh, in Missouri and South Dakota. So if you guys are uh, interested in a snow goose conservation hunt, hit him up on Instagram right here. He would love to hear from you. Just shoot him a DM, easiest way. And then we have a ton of white full bodies a ton back i don't even want, i don't even want to look at them anymore but these are all gerald's going on conservation for him so he is loaded up and he's gonna be looking real good we got this all organized check it out cleaned up organized turn on a light here got power out here a new light so we can see what we're doing when it's dark at night we used to have to either use a headlamp when loading the trailer, you know, the evening before, uh, or we had phones, phones with our lights on propped up somewhere. And big shout out to my dad uh, for my birthday present. He came over and wired me up a nice LED light. So thank you, dad. It's gonna save some lives this year, for real. He also wired up this outside light too. So now it lights up this whole area at night. We're not wandering around aimlessly. Can't see where we're going. But uh, we got Aaron here, his stuff, his trailer. We already got his trailer pretty loaded. Uh, chairs, full body darks, A-frames. Gonna be rocking lay down blinds and A-frames a lot of the season. Definitely gonna get out of the spread more. Um, think that's a good idea? Oh yeah. What's not a good idea when someone does this to your ratchet straps <laughs> and, and it's Tight as a rock. That 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 would be me. <laughs> no, you can't get it off. <laughs> no, this happened before I came, so he's like, don't look at me. This was yeah, not me. No. We gotta fix I, 
do we fix the hinge on this thing or do we leave it laid down like this i don't know if the claw can lay down i mean we'll just put a ratchet across it and is the side by side anywhere. tires the back tires in front of the gate so that's we, what i can't it. remember well it could lean up against the tires too and then strap yeah. it yeah yeah because we never really hauled anything on the back anyways mm -hmm. no and it kind of set an awkward position anyway and that was a that was a thing that was going to happen no matter what yeah it's kind of bummer because this is nice it's light you can move it i moved it myself from where we're standing here yeah They're for how easy. big it is it's crazy how yeah. light it is it's really a lifesaver well and your side by side fits on there and it doesn't overweight it yeah you know especially really i was always nice. scared oh see the new tires i got like nine plies ten plies on that bad boy might be eight plies but those are some nice tires <laughs> <laughs> We don't know what we have, but they're nice. <laughs> oh, you got to, uh, you got to give your son and the boys a big shout out at home. They'll, oh, they'll enjoy that. Yeah, I miss them already. You know, my son, he's 14, and he already told me to come home the minute I left. Uh, and then I had some uh, high school kids that we took hunting, so Caleb, Kyle. And I, I don't think I can say his nickname on here. So we'll just call him the Bone Man. <laughs> so we had a blast and it's fun getting kids out and I miss him already. And he wants to come here and hopefully you guys will see him maybe. Yeah. Big so, fans wearing yeah. ducks all the time. And ducks all the time. Ducks all the time. They got hats. They wear it to football practice. There's probably at least 20 kids out of 40 on the football team that right. have it. Um, so I don't think we've ever, I don't think you've like truly ever introduced yourself like where you're from did well, you do that I, last year well kind of because it was on that first hunt out in uh west yeah. when rain was here oh okay so it's foggy you know Opener. Preston, like hey who you are where you're from and everybody keeps busting my chops because i saw i said blart you know instead of burt <laughs> to go get you know i'm like yeah we're gonna go with blart and get some burritos <laughs> so i think everybody says that i'm like dude what about the hunt it was cool man <laughs> what about the hunt you know but uh... no from iowa uh so it's about eight and a half hours you know nine with trailer ten with me because i it was dark and i got lost and i suck in kansas city for driving <laughs> right I miss the turn all the time. Let's be honest. He drives like a grandfather, and and that very. I'm kidding. He's a safe. He's a safe. He's a dad. He's <laughs> yeah. a safe dad. Okay. He's a safe dad. So no, we're gearing up. Saw some birds this morning. Probably the best. Yeah. How many I did seen. you see this morning? Ah, uh, there. It's probably close to seven, eight hundred. Oh wow. Yeah. That's way so better. It was way better than what I was expecting to see. But, I'll be uh, darn. We're not the only ones that know about them. So, because yeah. when you got that many in that tight area and they're only flying two or three miles, and this wasn't even that. This was maybe a, a half mile, three quarters at best. Just jumping from out. where they left. Yeah. So, <laughs> seems like everybody knows about them birds. Cameron yeah. called me. He was like, "Isn't there a, like two thousand plus specs?" Da da da. And I'm like my god everyone knows about him so first off we're getting at that number one if you are north of me okay i'm central kansas smack dad smack dab central kansas if you're north of me in kansas anywhere or if you're in nebraska anywhere north if you're in south dakota what are you guys seeing right now it, it is it, it honestly seems like some birds are really really not some the calendar birds that should be here are really holding up and we're not the only outfitter that is experiencing it right now. Um, and a lot of people think it's due to the drought situations as and they're the coming down. temperatures. This is supposed to be 71 today. I talked to Gage up there in South Dakota. He said it's supposed to be 68. Oh, my God. Yeah. But he did say every night the specs are rolling out for whatever reason. So mm. where they're stopping, I have no idea. Yeah, so they're know. they're coming but not not because of weather they're yeah. coming because of their internal clock is like why are we still here you know maybe right. maybe i don't know but I he says know, overnight they're moving you don't see much during the day he said but hmm. said overnight they're moving they had pretty in their area it's getting pretty stale they're hunting the same birds Oof. you know but just like you said if anybody's like what's going on yeah if you're north of us on? Obviously, we know there's a ton, a poop stack of birds in, in North Dakota. Like Fargo area, yeah. I would guess. If you're up there, if you're south of there, 
anywhere in our, this central fly line, please, please, please drop a comment down below. Help some brothers out. Give us a little bit of info, a little bit of knowledge. Uh, we would we would greatly appreciate it. Let's put it that way. So this whole time today, I kept looking at my nose. I'm like, I thought I had a booger in there and I got white hair oh, shoved in there. You're getting old, son. Oh my God. I mean, look at this. Uh -huh. Anybody got some beard advice? Cause this looks homeless all the time. <laughs> Last night we were working on a pasture forever for days and and uh, he came out to Quick Shop and uh, convenience store if you don't know what Quick Shop is and he had a shirt on all day that said I'm hard to kidnap and he comes out with <laughs> two two foot Slim Jims Matadors Matadors not promoted but just saying yeah <laughs> two foot Matadors two of them bad boys and a Dr Pepper or something. Uh, no, that was it. No, I was flying solo. It's just that. <laughs> I was flying solo. Alrighty, the big reveal. They've been. Thank you to my lovely wife for filming. Yep. Um, so the sleeve. Um, as in, you can talk in the background, babe. Okay. Um, how long have I wanted a sleeve? Um, I mean, really talking about it for probably a couple of years. Right. I think, but I planning I, like. like a few months yeah so the last couple of years definitely i'm like yeah definitely want to sleeve um i'm a big two ta ta tattoo guy uh, my whole chest is done and it's just i like them but um i do have some mistakes for tattoos uh i don't know if they're a mistake but maybe something you kind of grow out of something that you thought was cool at the time i think uh, we all kind of feel that way about tattoos though really i got a dang fox tattoo i raced ATVs, motocross a lot, so not, not like motorcycles, one. but ATVs, and that was my thing. Good I've luck. always liked that one, just like Johnny Depp said. It's part of your History. story. <laughs> yeah, true. So, this one, uh, taking up my whole arm, I didn't want random things, right? And that's not my new. Um, so I was like, man, I just want it to be one piece of art, and that's what it, in fact, came out to be. And... First off, huge, huge thank you, shout out, everything, Jeremy Zettler. Um, he's from Canada. He's a subscriber, actually, and he's the one that did the artwork of Fred on the bottom of the skateboard, um, the spec with charcoal, all kinds of stuff, sent me awesome artwork. Uh, but he's, uh, we've been talking about getting, getting him down here to hunt for a long time. Well, he came down and and uh, it was till opener actually, and I took him till hunting, and we busted all this out, and and um, honestly, he killed it. And he was like, "What do you want?" And I was like, "I have no idea." He was like, "What's your favorite things?" Like, obviously duck hunting, and and I didn't want like ducks, you know, I didn't want it to be generic, mm -hmm. but like, basically, he took all of my ideas, Beth's ideas, because she knows me the best more than anybody, mm -hmm. and he did his own thing and just killed it and, and this is what it is is um i love wheat here in kansas we have a lot of wheat my job uh used to be cutting wheat i was a custom harvester uh cdo class a i like i hauled uh combines across the dang midwest and i cut a lot of wheat planted all, a lot of wheat and, and did all that and then uh, a waterfowl wing i really like uh i have always loved a waterfowl wing um something that almost looked like an Indian headdress and a wing. So that's kind of where this row of feathers comes from. Um, and then uh, nature in general. Um, I love evergreens. We have a lot of evergreens here in Kansas. Y'all know that um, we use evergreens to hide our blinds a lot of times. And so what this is, is uh, on the bottom of my arm, there's a row of evergreens and this is a river uh, that rolls up and it's got a buck drinking from the river and then it's got some nice artwork that blends into all this and rolling up this is actually the bottom of a fence this is the top rail of the fence that ends right here which we'll get some touching up done here on my elbow uh, elbows are really hard to take because it's such thin skin and then these are all shadow grass shadow grass um, and then it rolls up into this scene and it's um I mean, essentially me and Bodie, me and my son, um, carrying guns and, and hunting ducks. And from there, it rolls up 
uh, the water rolls up um, into an, the other field up here and there's a windmill and a little tornado in the background i don't know if you can see it and some small geese in the background uh, it's really cool the tornado coming down with the geese flying yeah with like um, hay bales here yeah so essentially i just wanted one whole piece of art um and nature some the parts of nature i love and this necessarily isn't just me and bodhi this is the representation of what I had is like, he, what, he was like, what's most important to you? Other than you taking your son hunting. And I was like, oh, you just hit it on the head. Like, it's so important to me, the tradition of duck hunting and goose hunting and wing shooting that I'm passing on to all of you. Um, this fly is just, hold up. <laughs> this is Bob Dude, and True Bob fashion. I go on absolute annihilation. <laughs> I will chase, I will uh... kill every fly in here under five minutes <laughs> with my hat so <laughs> i love it it's a hobby i do i go crazy don't i i'm yeah. jumping and yeah. throwing my hat on the ceilings uh but basically this is a representation of um turn that way i think it's cool to see it from like the back too of um me just passing down the, the tradition honestly and mm -hmm. and how many thousands and thousands of people and kids and young ones and older guys i've i've intrigued to get back into the sport and um, it's just a rep good representation up here of, and a reminder to myself, like, man, you've done a good job spreading um, the, tradition, the, the tradition of waterfowl hunting in general. And um, Side note, have you been working out? Your muscle looks big. Been, I've been lifting a little bit. <laughs> but honestly, I wanted something very special, and Jeremy just kept pulling this information out of me. And he's great at it. He's so good of a tattoo artist to... Be personal and, and understand like what you really like what do you actually love and he was like don't don't worry about you uh, telling me what you want it to look like just tell me what you like and it's my job to make it all work yeah. and that's what he did and he just killed it I'm so happy with it uh, he so, so he, good. he'll be here again or I'll go up there probably and we're gonna do a bunch of touch-up so we're gonna do touch-up and then I gotta fill all this. So I have an idea what I'm gonna do here, but a lot of you have asked to see it. Um, obviously I've held out on y'all and, and I show it and I vlog and I know. But... Did you uh, tell them about the flu? The what? The oh. tattoo flu? <laughs> yeah, so we, we got all this done in, it was essentially two to three days, two days. And the first set I did four hours, the second set was three hours and the third set was like three to four hours or something two to three hours probably so essentially roughly eight to nine hours i would guess mm -hmm. uh in about two days in 48 hours to maybe 54 hours or something total and there's a whole deal about tattoo flu i felt like he double hockey sticks i was like running a fever a mild fever felt pukey didn't want to go outside achy just I felt like I had the flu and it's just because there was so much trauma constant pain and trauma and you have such a rush of what white blood cells mm -hmm. that leave every part of your body to go fix this thing and you feel like junk mm -hmm. and it lasted for what two to three days two yeah, days I'd say probably two was the worst and then on the third day you kind of were getting better it was horrible like I was bed bound couldn't didn't want to go driving dizzy just horrible so if you're ever looking to cover a lot of your body, don't do too much at, at one time. You will be sick for a few days. Like yeah, it's a real learned. thing. Where are you going? You don't want to be on camera? No, nope, I'm done. Come on. Back to work. Just slaving away. <laughs> Back to work, slaving away. Look at these dogs. Oh, Freddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, what do you got? Oh, that look, he found a new toy. This is yeah, a bumper that this guy chewed up a long time ago. And I think you've been helping the cause. Look at them, they're brothers. Big brothers. You're the little brother and he's the big brother. Oh, the big dogs. They are, they are funny. You don't need to go and chew on it. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know, I know. Today was not a crazy video. Um, I haven't been hunting lately, just uh, the last pigeon hunt. We shot 90 in an hour. It was amazing. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. It was a banger of a pigeon hunt. 
just sitting no blind um, no blind at all windy and sitting on a pivot it was awesome um, me and Aaron we shot uh, probably right at like 70 75 just me and him and then Gerald came and probably helped us on about 15 of them so uh, amazing hunt there hunting's getting ready to absolutely fire up that's why I've had to take a take a break from just hunting um, and now transition to getting the lodge ready getting the guy check ready getting the decoys ready getting clients called all called back and ready um, and then scouting 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 uh, we found some new stuff today and it's uh it's looking like we're going on the ups like, like everything everything's gonna should get better from here so looks like North Dakota I checked the weather and they're supposed to get uh, some some winter weather here in a few days hopefully so a little bit of snow hopefully it sticks hopefully they get an, an accumulation so again if you have any information about our flyway uh, the central flyway that is let me know drop a comment down below you don't have to tell me what town you're in just say hey central part of this place or you know don't be specific you don't want to be giving away your honey holes out here thank you all for being here remember november 3rd through the 6th use code ducks30 at checkout at duckswaterfowl.com you will receive 30 percent off through november 3rd through the 6th okay remember it third through the 6th ducks 30 everything on the site duck calls goose calls lanyards blind bags hoodies hats gun straps gun cases the list goes on and on ducks waterfowl is always linked at the top of the description thank you guys for being here subscribe if you have not I am excited because we're getting ready to absolutely start crushing it and the videos are going to get insane. The migration is almost here. Be safe out there, get to hunting, make some memories, but until next time. I've been keeping it on a DL. Got a girl that keeps it real. And it's all I need to know and all you